What is the cubic root of negative 64? Same thing. We need three numbers. They have to be the same number, such that when you multiply them, it's going to be a negative 64. Now, you can take a cube root of a negative number, because a negative times a negative is a positive, but times another negative is a positive times a negative is a negative. So, in other words, when you multiply three negative numbers together, you're going to get a negative product. So we need a negative number that's all the same number. So let's see what we can break 60, negative 64 down into. Sure enough, negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16, times negative 4 again is negative 64. So negative 4 is our, it's going to be our, probably our answer, but let's rewrite it. I put the parentheses in there because it can get a little bit confusing, and I don't want to make anybody's day any worse than it already is mathematically wise so now you, you should be able to see what's going to happen that this this cubic radical is going to undo the exponent of three and that's going to be our answer cheesy cheesy mgz out